What's happening, world? It's your boy Jay Green, BeAWitnessNow.com. Welcome. Um, right now, I'm just reading Acts 4, and I just wanted to just kind of relay this to you guys. Um, in verse 13, uh, after Peter and John uh, healed a crippled man who had been crippled for longer than 40 years, the, the whole town, everybody was going crazy. Everybody was proclaiming Christ's name. And the council people and, and the priests, they uh, sent Peter and John to jail because they were like, you can't say Christ's name and you can't honor that and all that and blah, blah, blah. So uh, in verse 13, it says, the members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, for they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training or uh, in the scriptures. So Peter and John, regular dudes, no spectacular, amazing T.D. Jakes type, you know, big time guys. Um, but they just were moving in the spirit. And uh, that's what we ought to do as witnesses. We don't have to be, you know, uh, big time Bible study leaders or um, pastors or presidents of uh, any ministry. You can be a witness, whatever you are, whoever you are, um, whatever you do. Um, and then later on, they, they, they went, Peter and John went back to their people uh, and prayed about the situation. They just got out of jail because the people couldn't accuse them of anything but healing the man in Jesus' name. So they prayed and they said, Lord, hear these people's threats and give us your servants great boldness in preaching your word. Stretch out your hand with healing power. May miraculous signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant. And uh, hey, that's all you need to know. Be a witness. That's just a little word for y'all. Holla at your boy.